Hi and welcome to Cooking with Candyware and today I'll be showing you how to make this Christmas cake so stay tuned. So here are all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So first you're going to take a uh, different um, extruded or flattened I should say pieces of clay. So this is the off-white that is really just sienna mixed with a little bit of white and translucent. And I'm cutting four pieces with a cylinder and then I'm going to be adding um, some soft pastels in the dark brown to add a baked look to this. <clears throat> so you want the uh, cake slices to be larger than the icing in the red and the green by um, at least a, a significant amount so you can tell the difference. So then from here I'm just going to scrape these off so that I can work with the other colors now. And I'm just cleaning my surface with a baby wipe. So now I'm going to take the green and cut out a circle and then same with the red. I'm going to cut out two of the red and then clean the surface again and then bring back the cake pieces and then I'm going to alternate on what I'm adding so the green is going in the middle with the red on the end and then the cake, vanilla cake on the very ends. And then I'm going to roll this out, just make sure everything's flat and nice. And then from there you're going to put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes, which really helps so that, as you can see, you can cut this perfectly. So I'm just going to cut this until I get to the last little bit here, and then this is your perfect slice. So from here I'm going to be, this is definitely an optional step but I enjoy this just because it finishes off the cake just that much prettier so I'm adding a little bit of white to the back and I'm going to also be adding it to the very top as the first layer of icing so this just adds a little bit more of a thickness and a 3D feel to it and then just adding the top piece there And now it's time to use your needle tool and just fray the cake pieces, only the cake, not the icing. So you're just going to go in circular motions over the vanilla on both sides of the cake. And once you're done with that, since I'm making these into earrings, I'm putting a head pin in and then I'm baking it. So from here, we'll be adding on the icing, and I'll leave a link in the description box and right here as to where you can see my icing video. So you're just going to keep adding it on onto the white areas that we've added and swirl it about. So now it's time to take the green that we've already created, and I have a little cookie cutter that's the perfect size for a little holly bush or holly leaf. And then I'm going to be just rolling out a really small snake of the red and making three little berries and then adding that right next to the leaf. Then you'll bake that again. And once you're done baking, you'll use any type of gloss uh, that's very glossy and add that to the icing. So the three little pieces of icing, colored icing, inside the cake and then all on the outside where the icing is and the holly and then from there we're going to be making it into an earring so I'm using two of my favorite pliers the round head and the flat and then I'm just looping it around and then just after you've done that loop the rest of it and then use some nail clippers to cut off the excess and that's all there is to it Thank you so much, everyone. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Thank you so much for a wonderful year, and see you in the next year. Bye!